All right, Biggie, so what do you think about this post-net hysteria? Um, it's an experience just trying something out. You know, there's a lot of hype with the season, and the students came up with it. So they chose to give it a try and have some fun with it. Now, as uh, as part of it, you had the dunk contest, and, and you won it. What thoughts about winning the dunk contest? Oh, I'm not really a, a high flyer type player. I'm more of an in-game dunker, but, you know, just to have fun and just uh, get out there and try some stuff. What's it mean to have the uh, students want to get behind you guys and do something like this? It's definitely exciting for, you know, last year we were, we were very under... We're very underrated and things like that, so getting the semi state gave them a lot to look forward to this year. Yeah, that uh, that kind of sets up my next question. You guys come in pretty highly touted. Is that uh, is that adding to the uh, expectations for you guys? Well, my expectation coming to Homestead was always to win the state championship, so nothing's changed for me. And now there's more of a public view of it, and everyone else believing it. But it's always been something I believe we could do. Does it, does it add any stress to you guys? Uh, definitely, it doesn't add any stress because we know when we're playing our best, we're going to play. We're going to play well, and we can run at any level. What, um, what a, a, as you guys have practiced a little bit, uh, how, how's the team gelling right now? The team gel very well. Everybody's moving the ball. We move the ball very well. No one's really selfish and doesn't stick too much. Are you expecting teams to, to kind of hone in on you this year? Well, if they hone in on me, you know, Jordan's capable of going off for 20. Taj can go for 20. Teddy can go for 20. Dana can go for 20. So, if they hone in on me, I have a 10 assists. You just excited to get the game, uh, season started? Most definitely. Good luck. All right, well, Coach, uh, how cool is this? Homestead Hysteria, first inaugural one. Well, we're excited about this year. The girls' team has a, uh, a great team. Coach Parker and his staff does a great job. We're looking forward to our season also. I mean, there's a lot of hype. But, again, it's, that's what it is right now. It's hype. There's a, a lot of basketball to be played. So, you know, we've got to make sure we stay humbled. We stay grounded. Uh, we do the little things, what it's going to take to be successful. So, hopefully, our kids understand that. But this is fun for the kids. Just to get a little excitement for the student body and the community. But, uh, you know, we, we, we'll see what we're made of uh, come Wednesday of next week. What do you think about the hype? I mean, it's good people are talking about your team, right? Oh, yeah. It's always good that somebody's talking about you. And, um, you know, we have a lot of expectations. The community has a lot of high expectations for us because of the season that we had at the end of the year last year. You know, the ball bounced our way at the end of the year. Uh, we were fortunate to where we got ourselves in the semi-state. Fell a little short. But now, you know, we've got to come in and work a little bit harder to get us to that next level. With, with those expectations, how do you think your how do you think your guys are handling you know all the to, all the hype? Well, right now they're they're playing extremely well together. They're coming in playing hard each and every day at practice. Um, you know, as far as concern about enough balls, they're they're passing up a wide open seven foot shot to give another person as uh, one of his teammates uh, a wide open seven foot shot. So uh, our kids right now are playing playing well. It's going against each other, so again, we got to wait to see what uh, what we're made of when the season starts. Would it be safe to say the guys are, are gelling pretty well early on? Right now, they're gelling. They're doing everything that we're asking them to do. Um, so we have no complaints as far as with the coaching staff. Um, but like I said, it's a long season. We have to make sure we understand what it takes to get to that next level, and that's do the little things, making sure that we uh, are uh, cutting down on the turnovers, play fundamental basketball, and we'll see where it takes us. As you guys get ready, obviously Biggie comes in with a lot of hype. Uh, have you made up, obviously, game plans uh, for how to attack it when people double, triple, quadruple teams? I think, uh, you know, with, uh, with the players we have around him, you know, we're going to be ready. We saw a lot last year towards the end of the year, so that helped us as far as the coaching staff to do a little bit better job to make sure we're prepared for anything anybody throws at us. Just excited to get started? We're excited to get started. And uh, I think the community and the student body's crowd are excited, as you can see through uh, the background tonight with uh, this special night for these kids. Thanks, Coach. How, uh, how cool is a night like this for, uh, for a basketball player in high school? It's really special, really special. What, uh, as you guys get ready for the season, uh, what expectations do you have coming in? Uh, I just expect to go and play as hard as I can and find the open guy. And just I hope my team win. Is it stressful at all coming in with all the hype? Uh, not really. We just try to avoid as much hype as we can. We just play our game. Playing alongside one of the uh, best players in, in, in America. What, what's that like? It feels great because it takes a lot of pressure off yourself.
Is, uh, are you guys prepared to kind of face everybody's best every night? Uh, yeah, as long as we keep practicing and do the things we need to do, we'll be we'll do fine. What's it like in practice right now? Are you guys gelling pretty well? Yeah, we're finding our chemistry and we're doing great.